Hey, what's up everybody? It's Iron Giant Fishing, and I'm bringing you a uh, fluking for beginners video. I guess that's what I'll call it. <laughs> so uh, basically, it's just uh, a quick rig that uh, anyone can tie, especially if you're new to fishing or if you're new to fluking, and you want to really, you know, get into fluking as a, uh, as a, as a you know, thing you do when you fish. <clears throat> so uh, basically, what I use is any store-bought, medium-heavy, uh, seven-foot combo. This is the uh, Quantum Octane series. The uh, reel is a six-to-one ratio. This is 20-pound test braid. 2-0 bait holder, Gamakatsu hook. And a Sea Striker white teaser with like a lot of this flashy stuff on it. I don't know if you can see that. I think you can see that. It's very good. Uh, this is 12 pound test leader. Going all the way up, about a foot and a half. To a one ounce sinker. You really only need an ounce for this. You just want to get it to the bottom. And uh small but like not too small snap swivel. Let's connect to the braid. It's a very simple rig. Um, it's really improved clinch knot, surgeon's loop, clinch knot for the knots. And uh, in the description below, I'll send you uh, put in a link for uh, how to tie these knots. Very quick and it's very simple. And uh, all you need for bait. You know, you could use squid and spearing, and uh, you could use gulp, you could use live killies, you could use frozen peanut bunker or live peanut bunker if you can get it. Yeah, it's just any, any, any you know, small fluke size baits that you can drag along the bottom. We're here at South Beach Pier, Staten Island, New York. Alright, so I'll show you how to fish this real quick. One of the things you want to do when fishing this is before you even cast, you want to see where all the fishermen are. And I'll tell you why. Everyone who's going for striped bass and blue fish, if they're using bunker, then what a lot of them are doing is they're taking little scrap pieces that they're not going to use for bait and they toss them to the bottom. Now what happens is when you toss that pieces, those pieces of bait to the bottom, the fluke will come and eat it. So sometimes you have the biggest fluke five feet from the pier. And if everyone's casting out, you could always easily just go right under them. You know, not really get in their way. Just drag your bait across and see if anything's alive down there. So I'm gonna hook up with some gulp. I'm probably gonna use a chartreuse gulp. And uh, we'll take it from there. So this is the bait of choice today. Uh, four inch swimming mullet, chartreuse. The water looks a little stained. So chartreuse would be a good color to go with. All I'm gonna be doing is, you know, trying to work the areas where I think pieces of bait have fallen. Let's see if I can, uh, see if I can hook into something. I'm only staying here for so long. This is just a tutorial video to show beginners what to do in this style of fishing. But uh, if I can hook into something, yeah, why not? All right. It's very simple how to hook this. Just Put it running through, pull it out just like that, you're good. All right, it's cast out. I see uh, people fishing along the sides over here. They cast it out. Just, it doesn't have to be much, just lightly down to the bottom. And this is all you do. You just Gently pull it. Maybe like, what, like three feet at a time? You'll know you'll have something when all of a sudden you're moving and it stops abruptly, like something is holding onto it. When that happens, 
It looks like we have a fish. Move it a little bit, bring it back up. Let's do it again. Nice and easy, none too crazy. Oh, see what I mean? That abrupt stop. That's a fluke. That's what you can catch. No, I didn't catch it. But hey, that's what it looks like. Now I can go home.